everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legea. We're right in front of the final door, so today's gonna be an exciting episode, so let's get going. So, a large door blocks away, there are three holes in which something can be inserted. Insert the gem? Yes. So we defeated three crystal things, and they each gave us a crystal. So, look at that. Makes sense. Through this door, huh? Yeah, we're at the end of the tower, so it's gonna be it. The Source Forge is in there, isn't it? Yeah, and I bet he's in there too. Avalon. And he has the supreme power. We really got the chance of defeating him, even all of us together like this. I don't know. Come on, don't wimp out on us now. We've got- we've come this far. We've got to win now. Oh, what am I saying? Of course we'll win. The entire world is riding on this battle. We can do it. We're taking our world back and making it out of this alive. Let's go, dude! Big door, big crystals, big final fight. Let's get it. It's gonna be easy. There's the big source forge, and there's Avalon. Ooh, spooky. This is where the world was created. Ah, uh, people are getting sick and stuff. But soon, this worthless world will come to an end. We're not gonna let that happen. Yo, what up? We're never gonna let you get away with destroying this world. We're gonna defeat you and return the Source Forge back to the way it was. That's what we've come to do. You've wasted your time. You can't resurrect a lifeless thing, even if you are the one that controls the stars. Look, the Source Forge isn't glowing anymore, don't tell me. That's right, my own Supreme Origin has taken the power of the Source Forge and made it its own. A long time ago, life was first created here. The Source Forge wanted, to, wanted the world to be filled with fine, worthy beings, and so the life that emerged continued to evolve. But then the evolution started to move in the wrong direction. Something happened that was never meant to be. Beings with the wills of their own were born into this world. And what beings were those exactly? Humans. Because of that foolish will of human beings, they lost sight of the meaning of living here in this world. They became confused, they fought, they killed, they couldn't live without hurting others. Humans are the true ruin of this world. And I just unplugged my controller. No. You're wrong. Maybe humans do fight and hit each other sometimes, but they help each other, they share kindness and warmth with each other too. That's right, you make it sound like human beings are the bad guys here, but don't you think what you're doing is a whole lot worse? What you haven't realized yet is that every living creature in this world has its own will. We all depend on the world for life. Without this world, life wouldn't exist. Why is it you can only see things from the point of view of human beings? You mystics were born at this world to create a new era. None of you seem to realize yet what you were destined for. I was born with the supreme power and as the one that controls the stars and that means I was chosen, chosen to wipe out this world rife with human species and create a new perfect world. In order to build this perfect world, I have to first destroy the present one. I upset the balance of the source forge and made the black sun appear. Soon the eclipse will cover this world and destroy it and then with the power of the source forge in my possession I will create my new perfect world. Even if you are a star shaper like myself, how can you save the world, now that the Source Forge has lost its power? I see you've brought the sacred stones with you, but they won't do any good now. This world will be destroyed. We won't let that happen. Your thinking is all wrong. There isn't any part of this world that isn't necessary. 
and that goes for humans as well as mystics. I love every part of this world, human beings, nature, everything. And that's why I've been able to come this far, because I know I don't want to lose any part of it. If you say you've stolen the Source Forger's power, then I'm going to get it back. Even if I, if I really am a Star Shaper like you, then I should be able to do it. You still don't seem to understand. You may be a Star Shaper too, but I have both my Origins, Supreme Power, and... The Power of Creation, taken from the Source Forge on my side. You are lacking in fire power, fighting a hopeless war. And now, I'll let you experience for yourself the Power of Creation I took from the Source Forge. So that's the Supreme Origin. Go, dude! Fight me! Avalon. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and stack some AP, which I probably should have done before this battle, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and do one blade. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. With her, Maya, let's go ahead and use. Um, let's go ahead and use the point card. And let's go ahead and stack some AP with her also. So Rumble Spike, Riot Flag, there we go. Okay, so we do do damage to him. Okay. And that's pretty good. We could do more though. I'm wondering how much should I put on that point card? Should be quite. I think around fifty-five thousand. Forty-one thousand. Okay. And that's actually the end of the battle. Look at that. Although, I know it's not the end, if you know what I'm saying. Just disappeared. Okay. Witness the power of creation, the power to produce something out of nothing. Break my body as many times as you like, but it's no use. I'll come back to life each time. What's the matter? Where are all of your vows to defeat me now? Looks like you finally understand the difference between our powers. <clears throat> Compared to my origin supreme power and the power of creation I took from the Source Forge, your measly powers are nothing. We can't, can't give up now. As long as I have any breath left in me, I'm never gonna give up. And there's the stones. Look, the stones. What is this blinding light? Ooh, the stones are combining. Very nice. Listen to me, O creatures of life. As long as you are alive, you must never give up, as long as you possess life. I am the will of all living creatures that inhibit this world, and I am their power. 
This light, I feel a sh I feel a strong will flowing through it. It's powerful, yet warm. The sacred stones must have heard our prayers. They knew we didn't want to lose this world. We aren't the only ones battling to keep it. This entire world will to live is fighting right alongside us. Yes, now is a crucial moment. We must take a desperate effort. It's incredible. The light of the sacred stones is suppressing Avalon's power of creation. The power now might be our best opportunity to win, Shan. No, might be our only opportunity to win. You think we've got a chance, huh? Good enough for me. I've made up my mind a long time ago when I die. It's going to be surrounded by countless treasures. No way I'm going to die in a place like this. It's so warm. This must be the light of hope. The world hasn't come to an end quite yet, and I swear on the pride of my tribe, I'm not going to let that happen. What happened? The power that was rushing through my veins like a torrent. The power of creation. It, it's, it's gone. It can't be. Is this the power of hope really suppressing my own power? Yes, we got the power now, boys. But hope, there isn't any such origin. There's no such thing as the power of hope. Everything should be according to my will. Does the world itself really have a will to survive? Impossible. You're wrong. People aren't the only ones that have wills of their own. Every creature in this world, everything that possesses life, has a will of its own. Every last creature, good or small, holds the will to live. It's an inner spirit. As long as we have that will to drive, we will fight. The will to live. Where's the power in that? An inner spirit? None of it means anything. Go ahead and try to use such meaningless power. Do you really think it'll help you match my power? Imper impertinent fools. If that's what you believe, I'll let you give it a try. But you'll never win against my supreme religion. Alright, dude, let's go. Let's go, dude. Dot. Dot. Uh, do we have enough AP? We don't. Uh, we don't. Oh, man, that's kind of annoying. Alright, well, what we're gonna do then, we're gonna go ahead and... Skyfang, uh, Battle Flash, Wind Blade. Go ahead and Ooh, see. We got some new. We got some new uh, hyper moves that we've actually never tried before yet. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and hmm. let's just do Aqua Spear, uh, Magma, Aqua Spear. Let's do some random ones. <clears throat> now with Sharon. We're gonna go ahead and use Windmill Rose. And then what can we combo with it? Riot Flag, Bloody Fang, Rumble Spike. There we go. Okay, that's, that's more damage than we did last time, which is nice. Something big. Seb's question. I can't even pronounce that. Faith effects terminated. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, variable art then, why don't we? So, solid strike. Let's go ahead and do. You know what? No, with her, we're gonna go ahead. Hmm. I guess let's just. You know what, we're just gonna guard with... What do I do? Um, actually, let's just attack. Might as well. Let's do Ice Pyre, Ice Pyre. And then with her, we're gonna go ahead and do B. Eighty-nine 
thousand? Pretty good. Still not dead though. He isn't dead. Good. All right, let's go ahead and do Battle Flash, Wind Blade, and then let's do another Wind Blade, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and use. Let's use a healing item, preferably a Barome. Where is a Barome right here? Let's go ahead and do a Silver Barome, and let's go back and get some AP. On her too, so we can do another variable or a second here. near to kill us but that's a good bit of damage so we're definitely going to variable art a uh, with the origin we're going to do glorious mercy and we're going to variable art b there we go Looks like we won this way. Final fight. This is the actual final fight. So let's go ahead and build some AP since we used it on our last one Battle Flash, Wind Blade, Wind Blade again. 
Uh, we already have 100 AP on her. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, I guess it's just Aqua Spear Nova Heat. See how much damage that does. And build AP on her. Riot Flag. Riot Flag. Bloody Fang. Yeah, that should work. forget about our HP? Our HP is still low. Ugh, I forgot about that. I forgot about our HP. It's still low, I think. Okay, we still have a chance to heal them. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead. Are we? No, we're not under half. Okay, then we'll just do variable art then. Let's go ahead and variable art. So we're gonna do variable art A. We're gonna go ahead and origin glorious mercy and variable art B. Do that. Nice. 82,000. Okay, that's a good amount. We'll probably have to do that a couple times to actually kill this. But we're a full HP now, so. He doesn't really have a chance to one shot us, which is nice. Destruction fist. Wow. That hurts. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and Um let's do Sleeping Dragon. And then Battle Flash. Divine Bolt. Wait. Okay, let's restart that real quick. Sky Fang. Uh, yeah, Battle Flash. We do have enough for four, right? Yeah, okay, then we get Divine Bolt. Okay, that's good. With her, let's go ahead and... That revives and restores. We don't need that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and heal Aqua. And let's go ahead and do the same thing. Let's do Windmill Rose, and then Riot Flag, Bloody Flag, Rumble Spike.
see what it does. Ruler. That's good and scary. Sharon is bewitched. Ooh. If she hits someone of us, that could really hurt, actually. I'm gonna use Battle Flash, Wind Blade, Ox Stroke, Demon Thrust. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. What should we do? Should we use. I'm kind of scared. Let's just go ahead and use a silver broom, I guess. Ow! Don't do that, dude. Dude, she's gonna kill him. That was close. Oh! We should've, um... Probably should've got rid of the status effects with Maya. That was a mistake on my part. I don't, I don't think it'll cost me the battle, but that was pretty dumb of me, actually. I don't know why I didn't think of getting rid of her effects instead of... I guess healing's good, too, because it'll heal everybody, but... So this will heal him. Not not amazingly. Never mind. Very amazingly. Pretty good. But I probably should get Sharon out of the Bewitchment, though. Appearance? Wow, these are all new moves every single time. Sharon isn't bewitched anymore. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and use another variable. Wait, are we all... No, wait, are we, are we below half? I don't know. Uh, I want to use... I want to use my mystic. But I'm scared I'm not below half. I think we'll, ju we'll just go with the variable art then. We're going to go ahead and glorious mercy. And let's do B. There we go. Not dead though, but we're gonna heal real quick. Everyone's gonna be full HP, so once again, we're out of one shot range, which is really nice. Some. Hmm. I guess let's just stack AP again. But oh, wind blade, there we go. And we could probably do. Nah, you know what? We'll just we'll just stack all of them. Uh, let's go ahead and heal. Let's just do another silver brome. And let's go ahead and stack AP again. Blood spark, riot flag, rumble. That'll work. Alright, 
we're so we're not actually sharing this below half. No, she's not. Uh, is she? I think she might be. We could probably miss the guard with Sharon. Now this might be a bat. Are we below half with him? No, we're not below half with him. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Hmm. I guess we'll do variable art. Honestly, like I really want to. I really want to Mystic Art, but technically there's no reason to. Variable Arts are just as strong. So I guess we can just Variable Art instead. Another 82,000. Still not dead. Wow. Okay. Should be close to death, though. And we're going to quickly fully restore everyone's HP once again. Make sure no one is in one-shot range. Oblivion Light. Pretty sure this wasn't that strong, was it? Oh, it just removes all favorable effects, which doesn't really matter, honestly. Not in the long run. Let's go ahead and do Sky Fang and then Battle Flash, Wind Blade. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and what can we do? Should we do into the Mystic Art? I guess just to make sure, we'll Silver Brome and then stack some AP. So Lord of Eden. Rising stars, rising stars. Let's just keep rising, rising star, why not? Nightmare. I'm pretty sure this is new also. Purif oh, she was going to purify her. Well, that's a really good thing to purify guard trigger. Okay. How much is it for variable art? 56? Okay, then we can go ahead and do another variable art. And we're going to go ahead and... do with her. You know what, we're just gonna make sure... No, you know what? No, we're not. We're just gonna go ahead and attack. Uh, let's go ahead and use... Nether Gate. And... Raging Sky. Why not? You know what? We're gonna go and attack with her there. Let's go ahead and do B. Because Maya's probably not gonna even get to attack on us. This variable art might just kill it. <laughs> Another 82,000. So that's 82,000 four times already. Yeah, just like I predicted, that's probably it. How could you defeat my infinite strength? It's not so infinite, my guy. Sorry about that. Why? This power is the basis of all things. It can create everything. I've come all this way by believing in myself and in my friends. 
I want to live to see tomorrow. And be good to those who are good to me. And of course, hope has kept me going. All these things give me strength. That's why I won't lose to someone like you. Someone who got drunk on his own power and lost his soul. Preach it. I'll never let you take over this world. But he's not done yet? What? Still ain't done yet. What a nut job, dude. How did he be done by now? Battle Flash, One Blade, Ox Stroke, Thunder Flash. How is this dude not done yet? Nether Gate, Raging Sky. What's Gordon do? Blood Spark. Ooh, nope. Blood Spark. Riot Flag. Bloody Fane. Yep, let's do that. To have a chance to pull off a Mystic Art, maybe? If he pulls out something that's stronger than his other forms, he could get people right below half. So maybe we have a chance for Mystic Art some point. Maybe. Yikes. Human feeling, you said. That's meaningless. The only thing I believe in is power, nothing else. You may have defeated me, but the Source Forge no longer has any power left. Seems like you're wrong again, buddy. Oops. We put the sacred stones back. Why won't the Source Forge work? Maybe Avalon was right. Maybe the Source Forge power really doesn't have any power left. Ooh, that was a hard punch. Dang it. After all we've done, after we fought so hard, don't tell me it was all for nothing. the head honcho what the hell is going on perhaps because the source forge lost its power it no longer has the strength to support this tower the power to sustain the entire world might even be lost after all we've been through what the hell was it all for listen to me oh creatures of all life as long as you're alive you must never give up as long as you possess life I won't. I can't give up. I have to put my faith in the power of hope in my own strength one more time. Let's do it, dude. Hey, I like the music, though. It's like, it's kicking. Akko, what are you gonna do? That's not gonna accomplish anything. The Sacred Stones helped us before. They showed us the power of hope. Please, Sacred Stones, please give me your strength one more time. Please show me the power of hope once again. Galia, I'm with you. Even if I must die to let others live, I'll do what I can until the last moments. Me too. I'll help Aqua. Oh, count me in. We'll pour one 
our will to live straight into the source. I read that completely wrong. I'm into no way I'm gonna die in a place like this. Let me add my will to live too. I want to live to see tomorrow. I don't want to lose our world. We're dead. Oops. We're dead. Maybe not. Where am I? You're in the place between life and death. Humans, no. All living creatures are continu continually reincarnated here. You shouldn't be here. You still got a home to go to. You still got people waiting for you. Here. Let me give you this. It might come in handy. It's glue! It's a fragment of something called hope. Hang on to it. Aqua, I'm sure you can see it now. The path you were meant to follow. Stick to that path and you'll be alright. Ross? Ooh, what is he doing here? Hello? We're just gonna see every person we killed here? Where's Elfin? Where's Elfin at? Hey, but we got some nice little glue, so that's cool. Some hope. Very nice. Hey, we're alive. Look at that. And it's bright out. Aqua. Oh, it looks so beautiful. The skies aren't red anymore. It's sick. We're back at Stone's little abode. Where are we? Where is the Source Forge? What happened to the world? One question at a time, please. I just realized you were here a moment ago. The sun. The black sun is gone. We did it. The world is back to normal. Agua. Master. Master, what, what's, what's going on? You heard what Rayum said, the world might not return to normal. However, it does appear that we stopped it from being completely destroyed. The Mirage Tower and the Source Forge must have been destroyed in the battle. There's no way for us to know how much longer the world will survive. It's not gone. The Source Forge isn't gone. The world is still here, that means it must be somewhere. You're right, hope is what saved the world. And everything that lives in this world has that power, the power of hope. The will to live, there's nothing nothing stronger in this world. The will to live, huh? Well, I don't know that I've been happy to be alive on more occasions than I can count. Emotions like that one, they must pull together and become the will to live, at least that's what I think. The more lives there are, the stronger the will to live becomes. And when that feeling gets strong enough, the world will go back to the way it was. Right, Aqua? Yeah. And no. We're not going to put back the things the way they were. We're going to make our world as we go. Gaia 2 Dual Saga. So, guys, that is 
the end of the game. That is the final boss. Oof. We finished it, guys. So, the credits are gonna roll. So guys, here's the thing. The game is done. We beat the game. Um, but there are a lot of side quests and other things that we have. Hey, look at that. Bubba's the champion. Nice. He found his place. But there are a lot of side quests and things that we haven't gotten done yet. So there are going to be a couple more episodes of this. It's not the end end because we've got lots of other things to do in this game. So I'm not going to be like, this is the final episode because there are going to be a couple more, maybe one or two more. But this is the end of this game as a story. So I will do my review of the game now instead of the last episodes. Um... My review of this game isn't going to be very long. Um, basically, all I'm going to say is that this is one of the best games ever created. One of the best JRPGs ever created. In my top three games of all time. And every single one of you should play it. What's going on here? Oh, Sharon's with the ship. Um, I guess we can kind of go th through a little bit more detailed review. I've got to get past the credits, so I've got to talk until that's kind of over. So, what did I like about the game? Now, here's the thing. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not going to lie to myself. Part of the reason why I love this game so much is because of nostalgia. Who are these kids? i got to get some water, man. Where's Kenjiro at? I want to see Kenjiro. I see she's happy. She seems happy. Anyway, so I'm not gonna lie, a big part of why I liked this game was the nostalgia, obviously. I played this when I was little. So I'm genuine so I'm just naturally going to like this game. But I do have to say, the plot, although very cliche, kind of we have to save the world. Oh, we saved the world. I just hit my mic. Using hope. I still think the way they made it out, I think it's a really good story. I think they did it really well. The characters are fleshed out pretty well to the extent that they could be. What is going on here? Where are the treasures going? So overall, characters are very nice. Plot's very nice. The one thing that I... Oh, it's Kenjiro. Hey, there's Kenjiro and his brother or sister or something. Um... What was I even gonna say? Oh yeah, like this game still holds up to this day. So you guys know my favorite game of all time that we played before this is Chrono Cross. My favorite game of all time, above this game. The one thing that it was lacking was kind of that does it hold up factor, right? You played it, you're like, wow, this is a great game. I'm having fun. But you can tell in the graphics and the mechanics that it's old. It really is old. The thing that I really loved about this game is the fact that it was made a long time ago. But somehow it really doesn't feel like it got old. Yeah, maybe the graphics are a little bit pixelated, but when I looked at this game, when I played this game throughout this series, I never once felt like... Wow, this is an old game. Throughout the game, throughout the entire part, I just thought, this is a game. This isn't an old game. This is a game. The graphics didn't bother me. How things sounded, how things worked didn't bother me. I, I don't know if I'm getting that across very well. It's just the fact that, like, I didn't see a difference between this game and, like, a modern AAA release with, like, fancy graphics. To me, both are the same because... The graphics really do hold up. For the how old this game is, the graphics hold up. Maybe the animations could be a little bit better, but other than that, stuff really holds up. What's going on here? 
Let's see what happens to Maya. Honestly, that's who I'm interested in. She's my favorite character, so I want to see what happens to her. I mean, I guess she just returns back to her family, huh? Or her family. I mean, family's dead, but, you know. To her village. Uh, but yeah, overall, I quite enjoyed this game. Now, I do have to be transparent. I am playing this on an emulator. So, if you want to get your hands on an original copy of this game, it's on PS2. So, if you want to play this game, like, authentically, you're going to just have to buy a PS2, buy a copy of Legea 2, Legea 2, Legea 2, not first Legea, and yeah, play it that way. Or you just download an emulator and do it how I did it. I do have to say the emulator does not feel different from the console, like, I haven't showed you yet, but I'm actually, I am playing on a controller, so, um, it doesn't feel any different, it's very nice, it's a nice port, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but it's very nice. And one thing I do gotta say about this game, this game is very underrated in my opinion. If you looked at the sales of this game as a game, like a company releasing a game, this game was actually a failure. I'm pretty sure like they lost a lot of money on this game because it didn't sell units. But this game is amazing! I don't get why, I mean, I kinda get, because I this game came out during like the heyday of Final Fantasy, so I get I get it. But this game really is amazing, and I'm I'm sad that not a lot of people got the chance to play this game because everybody knows Final Fantasy VII. Aqua, he's gone. Yeah, always thought he'd take charge of the village corpse after me though. Okay, I'm just gonna, last word. Everyone knows Final Fantasy X. Everyone knows Final Fantasy VII. Everyone knows Chrono Trigger. But not everyone knows this game, and it's such a shame because this game is a masterpiece when it comes to JRPGs. Yeah, I've always thought he'd take charge of the Vigil Scopes after me, though. Hey, the Aqualith is back. Sick. But he... He's different from us somehow. I don't know what exactly, but whatever it is, this town's not big enough to hold him. What's the matter? You're regretting not chasing after him. Well, of course not. I wasn't thinking of that at all. Besides, he'll be back. That's true. This is where he grew up. He'll definitely be back. Even stronger and even wiser. What am I doing in Gale Canyon? I guess I'm just, I'm just chilling on a canyon. Okay, dude. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, I guess it's meant to show his, he's still adventuring out there doing his thing. The end. Sad days. We're done with the game. And. The one complaint I have about this game is it's one of those games where you finish and you actually go back to the last point before the final fight. So it is that type of game, which kind of sucks. So you basically finish the game and you come back before. So you don't really have that sense of accomplishment, but it is what it is. Um, let's quickly rest. But this does help kind of transition into the game's technically not done. So let me get out of this just so I can just stand here. So guys, the game is done. You got my little review of the game, a very biased review, but you got it. So guys, I would say this is the last episode. See you guys in the next game, series, video, whatever, but it's not going to be. There's going to be minimum at least one more episode maximum probably three to four more because there's some challenges we still need to finish still some items i want to collect i still want to see some monsters still a couple things that i want to do so guys uh thanks for watching if you did enjoy make sure you like and comment as well as the channel and i will see you guys in the next legaya video we're not done god bless and goodbye